matuti ma wakho ci anglais ngir message bi man leena romb jall ci ñeneen ngir gëna matalé my fellow brothers and sisters i would like to start by extending to the most beautiful and perfect greetings that a muslim can extend to his fellow brothers in islam we shall express our satisfaction about your good conduct and determination we do know your lofty intentions and your behavior about which we have no doubt it is difficult for us to pay you back for such beautiful actions but we can stretch our hands and implore allah for him to pour his mercy on us in the name of prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam we also extend to you the greetings of sirin abdul fatah and sirin mustafa and all our family members in addition to that i want to remind you of the purpose for which allah created us we come to refrain from reminding you of this because this is a prescription of allah himself who said wa dhikr fa inna dhikra tanfa'u al-mu'minin and humans are made in such a way as they forget that's why satan may get them in his trap by making him sin the more so in these days when evil doing has reached unprecedented proportions in these days when many people are influencing people in this evil direction people are no longer ashamed of doing wrong and the misdemeanor so plenty that people think it is the right thing to do the young do not respect the elders and some are imitating people who are no models and doing things that are not good to imitate satan and the desires of this mundane life have got people forget their obligation their obligations between them and allah on the one hand and between themselves on the other hand that's why i remind to myself and to you who believe that allah created us only for us to worship him so let's worship allah and avoid associating him with anything and let us worship him properly worship allah and obey his prescriptions and avoid his proscriptions as was demonstrated by prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and do not obey satan in his attempts in in his attempts to take you in the wrong way and anyone who believe to meet god one day must have a good contact and worship him correctly without getting him unequal shaykhuna shaykhul khadim told us that anything else is useless he told us you who are seeking to reach allah you should know that no thing can cause harm or benevolence except through the will of allah and throughout your life do not rely on the human because they cannot get you anything you want or expel any harm because allah will remain anything else will perish he said if you rely or fear anything other than allah you will be sure to fail he is the only one that does not die and he does not sleep he never gets into trouble he is capable of doing whatever he wishes he will achieve anything he predicts and he is not neglectful nor forgetful about anything Sheikh Al-Qadim said let us seek Allah's blessings and let us fear him and let us never get out of the right way my fellow brothers in Islam let us quickly seek Allah's forgiveness and let us make more efforts in worshiping Allah 
because death does not want us and you don't know where Allah will dispose of your life therefore let us make effort so that we may avoid getting into situations where we do not want to die let us abide by prescriptions of Allah respect the five prayers and give them their due importance and give zakat when required perform hajj when possible and give importance to Ramadan let us give respect to our fellow brothers especially our parents let us take this mundane life from our heart and seek to and avoid transforming it into our residence because what is in this residence will end so let us achieve here below something that will owe us the mercy of Allah because it is an endless life unfortunately today people are behaving as if the day of judgment will not come let me tell you that day will be terrible one when we all resurrect and are gathered in one place everybody will keep quiet out of fear and they'll think that Allah has forgotten about them and they will pray to get into hell because they don't know which way to turn Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said to Aisha Allah will gather people and they will have no thing on themselves Aisha replied Muhammad that will be amazing men and women alike will be naked and looking at one another Prophet Muhammad وسلم, replied that day will be so tough that no one will think of looking at anyone else one day Aisha was thinking of her fire until tears came from her eyes and the Prophet asked her what the matter was she replied I am scared of hellfire will you think of your family on that day the Prophet Muhammad told her no one will be in a position to care about another in these three situations when the deeds are being weighed when the books are being distributed when people have to cross the bridge of Sirat the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said Allah will talk to each and every human being and no interpreter will be around on the day of judgment when you look right you will only see what you did in your lifetime when you look left you will see only what you did in your lifetime and then you look ahead only to see hellfire therefore let us fear hell and worship Allah Allah will ask everybody what use he made of the life he gave him what use he made of the knowledge he acquired how he got his wealth and what use he made of that wealth so let us use all our life for the sake of Allah and use all our youth in working for Allah and make sure that what we gain is licit before using it for the cause of Allah my fellow Muslim brothers and co-disciples of Shah Ahmad Bamba if Allah has blessed you children remember that children and parents will stand for judgment about the name the father gave them and the character and bad habits they let develop in their children because of their carelessness so let us educate the children so that they know their religion and assimilate Islam and become able to identify what Allah wants of them and practice their religion properly my recommendation for the children is is that they give respect to their parents try to get them happy and take care of them for the sake of Allah the scene that exists between children and parents weighs very heavy that's why 
Allah does not bless a child unless he is blessed by his parents. Allah wants us to show good conduct to our parents. Sheikh al Khadim said, Show good conduct to your parents. Obey their prescriptions and avoid their proscriptions in the name of Allah. If you do that, Allah will increase your status. My fellow brothers and co-disciples of Shah Muhammad Bamba, I recommend you to have good relationships among you and unite. Develop love, mutual esteem among you for the sake of Allah. Help one another with your knowledge, ideas, wealth, or physical strength, and visit one another and refrain from talking about others' defects. Instead of that, try and see how you can help them. Develop solidarity and help others in areas where you have more advantage than them and take pity of the children. Respect the laws of the governments and have good relationships with citizens because this will facilitate your stay here. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.